My number two most popular video on this channel is my monster folding knives, second only to my top five neck knives. What a great time to show you the additions and what's been going on in Monster Folder Land. If you like monster folders, stick and stay. <laughs> I can't stand intros. I'm assuming you stuck and stayed. My name is Johnny, I'm an artist, I'm a musician, and I like sharp things. Check out my three playlists. I do other videos as well. Sometimes you watch them. But I know you watch these ones because this one ranks number two. Whole lot of views going on in the monster folder world. If you've never watched a video like this, and you've come to my channel for the music, and you're going, what is he doing? Well, a lot of people like monster folders. A monster folder is a folding knife that is just really big. And I've got a whole bunch of them that are really big. So without further ado, this is a um, canvas uh, pouch that I made a long, long time ago. Seems to work really well. It goes way over that way and way over that way. So we're not going to get everything into the um, into the frame, if you know what I mean. Why folders that are this big? Anybody? Any, I'm waiting. Yes. Oh, okay. Yep. That's a good answer. Yeah. Okay. That's a good answer too. All right. For me, I just think they're awesome. They look great. And um, yeah, let's start over on the left. That'd be my left. I'm going to pull it out of the uh, pouch. The first knife far to the left is the Cold Steel Tylight 6. This is aluminum and CTS XHP on the blade steel. And uh, let's, uh, let's open it up for you. We're not going to be doing a review or anything on these bad boys. They're just something to look at. Some of you are probably jumping if you've never seen this before. And some of you are smiling uh, from uh, ear to ear right now. I know I do. When I see something like this, I'm going, wow, that thing is amazing. Look at that view. Very cool. It stays straight all the way to the end. In other words, there's no angle yeah really nice strong liner lock and um, yeah this particular knife uh, did some damage a couple of uh, weeks ago I was lucky to not get any stitches I won't go into the details let's go on to the second knife the second knife is the cold steel colossus a now discontinued model Take a look at that crazy texture on that G10. Absolutely bizarre. This would be the second one I've owned. I had one that was black XHP. And I decided to let that one go exchange for this one. Look at that crazy blade shape. Yeah. I've got several videos, I think at least one video on my channel somewhere on the Colossus, maybe going into the woods. Very cool. Very, very comfortable in hand. Just a, a bizarre knife. Now let's move on to the third knife in this pouch. The third knife in this pouch is the Cold Steel Frenzy. And that's with the Blue G10. And I do believe it's the XHP as well. Oh, sorry, I stand corrected. That's the 35, S35VN that is. And if you've never seen anything as wild as this fang, tooth, claw, you're probably going, oh my God, that thing is crazy. And yes, it is very crazy. But some of us like these crazy things and that's the Cold Steel Frenzy, and I've got several videos on my channel on modifications that I've done to this one to smooth it out and just make it more smooth and comfortable and all that other good stuff. One more for, oh yeah, oh yeah, Cold Steel Frenzy. Let's go to number four. And fourth in the pouch of the Monster Folders is the Cold Steel Counterpoint XL. Are you talking to me? You remember that video? Just go to my Into the Woods video featuring this particular knife. Are you talking to me? You'll know what I mean. Look at that thing. Look at that. 
Yeah. Some of you are just jumping out of your chairs right now, I'm sure. Especially if you've never seen videos like this before. Some of you have never seen videos like this before, I'm thinking. Most of you have. And that's the AUS 10A. And this is a really, really sweet blade. Yes, I took it into the woods. No, you should not do a lot of the things that I've done into the woods. But this knife can totally take it. Counterpoint XL. Isn't that sweet? Yeah, let's go on to the number five. And the fifth monster folder in this pouch is the Voyager. And this is the Vaquero. And it's the XL. They're all XL. They're really big. And that's the AUS 10A steel as well. With that crazy, crazy G10. Let's see what this one looks like. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, this is my most recent addition to this collection, and I'm finding it to be extremely satisfying. Lynn Thompson, as you know, supposedly carries three of these things every day. I might do a separate video on this one. Let me know if that's what you want. Let's go on to the sixth monster folder in this pouch. And the sixth monster folder goes to the Voyager again. This one is special Lynn C. Thompson edition. Back in the early days, when this was, uh, oh, very smooth, very smooth. And this is number 31. I know that's pretty low of a number if you're a collector. And this is fully serrated from stem to stern. I rarely carry this one, but sometimes I do. And that's in the CTS XHP blade steel. It's unfortunate they discontinued that. Really nice, very nice knife. What do you think? One more? Oh yeah, satisfying. Now let's go on to number seven. And number seven in the canvas pouch of doom is the Voyager Tonto. And we've got a snaggle tooth on this one. Same scales, black Grivex, and this one is in CTS BD1. And yes, I took this into the woods as well. Separate video, it's held up extremely good. Unfortunately, it's a bit of a hollow grind, so it's not as stout as some of the flat grinds in the woods, but it's still a beast. Look at that. Crazy balance. It's almost a perfect balance. It's got a little bit of weight at the end because it's so thick, but yeah. This thing is a razor and it is a monster folder. How about number eight? Number eight in the white canvas pouch of doom is another discontinued cold steel. And this is the Recon 1 XL CTS XHP. Snaggletooth. Big old clip point. I think I did a video called Mississippi Black Snake, and that's kind of what I think of this one. Straight from Full Metal Jacket, if you know what I'm talking about. Discontinued. It's unfortunate there was a, a series of these. I think there was even a Tonto and maybe even a Spear Point. I can't remember anymore. Let us know in the comments. If you stuck around this long, you're probably going, yeah, I like in this. Ooh, ooh, that was a... It's hard to do behind the camera on this one, but it can be done. Cold Steel Recon 1 XL. Unfortunately, it's discontinued. And let's go to my favorite number, number nine, out of the pouch at number nine, 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 nine. Yeah, it's the Tall War. This is the original, not the um, brought back to life version. This is CTS XHP. And yeah. There you go. Absolutely gorgeous and a monster. Can we do it? My favorite part is the jimping on this one. I love the way they did it. Oh yeah. Check that bad boy out. Now let's go to number 10. Of course, not by ranking, but just where they're located in this pouch. Number 10 slot goes to the Raja 2. There you go, the Rajah 2 and the Grevex and that crazy pocket clip. And yeah, there's some weight going on here. I believe we're in the 
AUS 10A again. Let's see what we can do here. Behind the camera, I don't know. Oh, we're gonna need a double shot. There we go. One more for good luck. Let's try reverse. Yeah, okay. I'll accept that. No, I won't accept that. I am not satisfied. Now I'm satisfied. Take a look at that banana blade. Full flat grind, AUS, 10A, razor sharp. Yeah, I've taken this into the woods and this is a awesome woods knife. Yeah, I know it's a folding knife, but I'll tell you what, if this is the only knife I had, it would, um, it would help out. It would help out for quite a while. Of course, until the pivot broke or something like that, or I lost a screw. Isn't that just absolutely amazing? All right, so that's 10 in the pouch. We've got two more on the table. Let's get into them. My 11th monster folder on this table is the Espada Large, and this is CTS XHP Aluminum G10. Highly polished. Check that out. Isn't that a work of art? Let's see what we can do here. Oh yeah, let's try one more. No fooling around there. Check out that blade, three quarters high on the flat. And we're coming in at the CTS XHP, highly desirable. Unfortunately, it's not made anymore. At least it's discontinued. The old original logo. This is a um, EDC knife. No, I'm just kidding. Could be an EDC knife. Let me know what you think of this one. Yes, I've got a video of this into the woods as well. I don't think there's a knife on here except for the Frenzy and the Tie Light. And of course, uh, the Voyager, the Vaqueros. But anyway, everything else has been into the woods. So is this one. And yes, I did this long before those two crazy Dutch guys. But it's okay. They have um, a more popular place for knives like this. The Espada XL, XL, XL. That's it. It's the large on steroids. And over here, we like to call them the boss. That's right, the boss. Check that out. I don't know. This could be really dicey. I don't know. We'll have to watch out for little Jerry. Little Jerry, get out of the way. All right. See if we can do this. Oh, yeah. How about one more? Yeah, you want one more. I know you do. Ooh. I'm a little bit nervous. Oh, let's try that again. Oh, yeah. We got to kind of go way back here to get the boss in the full frame. And that is 12 monster folders. This one is S35VN. It's unfortunate that I didn't get the XHP, but oh well, I'll settle for this. Not bad. And that's going to cover the... How many is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope I didn't scare you away. Now go watch my music. Bye for now.